My name is Ken, and I'm a technical product manager with VMware VeloCloud. Today, I will go over how to use a custom Splunk app we have developed to leverage the API to pull enterprise events from the VeloCloud orchestrator and then feed them into Splunk. So basically, the custom Splunk app will reside on the Splunk server and then makes an API call outbound to retrieve the orchestrator events as shown here. I do want to call out that the custom app was built based on the open source REST API module input that is available in Splunk Base. So looking at the Velcro Orchestrator API reference page, the custom Splunk app utilized two methods here to pull the events from the Velcro Orchestrator. So first, it uses the slash enterprise login method to authenticate with the VeloCloud orchestrator using um, the provider username and password. And then once it authenticates and retrieves a authentication key, it then uses that key or the session cookie to go to the API and then retrieve the events from the orchestrator using the get enterprise events method. So the custom app is actually provided in a simple zip format. Um, you're supposed to unzip the file and then move the content to your Splunk server's app uh, folder. And so in my case, it's actually the slash OPT Splunk Etsy apps folder. And you can see that I have the VelCloud REST um, custom app right there. If we look a, a, a slightly deeper into the folder, um, basically there are really three main Python scripts that achieves um, what we discussed here. And that's the rest.py, response handlers.py, and then the auth handlers.py. And so once you move um, the content of the folder into the Splunk's app page, and then you, you have to restart the Splunk server. And once you restart it, Splunk will automatically um, basically pull the parameters and then start the app. So if you go back to the Splunk homepage and go to manage apps, if it was installed correctly, you will see the VeloCloud REST custom app right there, and just make it a little easier to, to access. I will make it visible on the home page. And once you know that it's loaded correctly, all you have to do is just go ahead and create the data input to start pulling the VeloCloud orchestrator um, that you want. So if you go to settings, data inputs, you'll see that there's a velo underscore events input right there. And I can start adding um, my, uh, uh, my orchestrator um, API, right, as the endpoint to start pulling the, uh, the events. So I already have a sample account set up. I'll just go ahead and paste them here. The URL of the VCO should not have any special characters um, or any arguments at the end. And this app was only tested using enterprise um, login. So just be aware of that. If you have operate, if you want to test using operator um, username and credentials, it may not work. So the polling interval is how often you want to call the API to retrieve the events. Um, so I'm going to use 600 seconds or every 10 minutes, um, just so we don't overwhelm um, the uh, lab setup. Uh, note that even, my pa even though my password was in clear there, um, all of those the API calls are made, are, are made using HTTPS. And that's pretty much it. So from there, um, 
the custom app should go ahead and go to the um, go to the VCO and authenticate via the API um, and then start pulling events. So if I refresh my page here, I should see that there was a su successful login um, that was made by the custom app, right? Using the username and password that I provided. Going back to the home page and go into the app. Um, and you can see I've already, I already retrieved about seven events. And by default, um, once you start the script, we by default retrieve the, the events from the last hour. Okay. So now you can see um, all of these, those events are imported into Splunk in a nice syslog format. So note that um, the uh, the app does come with a installation guide, and if you want the source code, please ask your um, your account team to uh, get the uh, zip file. And uh, that's that's about it.